welcome or welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually a video that i have been wanting to film for a while now so as everyone is aware of we are in the middle of a global pandemic so government officials have made it obligatory for everyone to wear face masks and there is a certain percentage of the world who suffers from something called maskne i for one am someone who definitely suffered from maskne so i had to go out and do my research on things that could help me um clear my acne and i found a regimen that definitely works for me and I want to share with you guys today. So first and foremost, what is maskne? So the medical term for maskne is actually called acne mechanica. So essentially what it is, is like an onset of acne due to wearing masks for a prolonged period of time. And it is brought on because of the moist environment that is trapped inside of the mask. The friction that comes with that moist environment and just the constant irritation of the mask onto the skin causes us to break out. From my research I learned that about 20% of the population actually suffers from maskne so it's not a big group of people so there is a set of people that when they wear masks it triggers acne to form on the skin so as you can imagine we're doing daily things like breathing and talking with these masks on and that environment is the ideal environment for things like yeast to grow so not only can you suffer from basically getting acne from wearing the mask all day you can also suffer from getting something called follicleitis and that's essentially when the yeast and bacteria gets trapped into your hair follicles causing you to also break out as well so as you can see wearing a mask for some of us has become extremely like difficult because our face <laughs> begins to break out and you can't really control it like no matter what you do it the, the mask onto the skin the friction the bacteria the moist environment can all build up and cause a very like toxic environment for our skin so now that i give you guys a few um, facts about what maskne is, where it comes from, what causes maskne. I want to give you guys a history of my skin type. So before this experience, I was always someone who was acne prone. So I do have acne prone skin. I have about oily combination type skin. So normally around my menstrual cycle is when my skin gets triggered and I get more hormonal acne. Throughout the rest of the month, I don't typically break out as bad. I do get um, occasional breakouts here and there, but it's not nearly as bad as when I'm on my menstrual cycle. So now for what you guys actually clicked on this video for, I found a regimen that helps maintain my mass knee. I am so happy to have found this regimen because it truly does work for my skin type. Now my skin is not at 100% where it used to be, but it is significantly, like when I say significantly better than it was a few weeks ago, and I truly like swear by this regimen. The first thing that I use and that was the key the key aspect to helping my skin clear up was the CeraVe Acne Foaming Cleanser. This buddy right here, this bad boy right here has been a game changer for me. It has helped my skin in ways that I never imagined and I do want to give you guys a few facts on what this product is, what it contains and how it can possibly help you reduce or cure your maskne. So this acne foaming cleanser contains 4% benzoyl peroxide and benzoyl peroxide is like considered the most effective uh, skin care ingredient um, that you can attain like without a prescription. It's used to treat and prevent like future acne from coming on. Okay, so benzoyl peroxide also helps remove dead skin cells that typically do clog the pores. It also helps um, kill the acne causing bacteria that is typically like underneath the skin. And overall it is said that benzoyl peroxide essentially just helps with mild acne so that is the key ingredient in the acne foaming cleanser that really does do the job here in this case it also has three essential ceramides that helps with the skin's barrier and people that typically like break out or suffer from acne in general typically have less of this in their skin so this does um, help substitute that um, deficiency as well the cleanser also contains hyaluronic acid and hyaluronic acid what it essentially does is it contains the moisture in the skin it helps the skin stay moisturized supple soft all of those things and it also has something called niacinamide which is basically like a calming feature so whenever we use like skincare products niacinamide essentially just makes the skin feel more calm and it allows it to heal from like the acne that it already contained when it comes to this product um, one of the warning signs is that it may cause dryness i personally did not experience any dryness when using this product again i do have oily prone skin so maybe 
that was a factor but for me personally I didn't experience any dryness this literally felt wonderful on my skin I didn't experience any irritation or of that nothing of that sort so I really 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 like this product now not only was I using the acne forming cleanser but I was also um, drinking at least a gallon of water a day minimum um, there were some days that I would drink a little less but for the most part I was around that much I was around that area of about a gallon of water a day this was what really helped me get my water intake in i love anything that has a straw this right here is about 24 ounces so i would drink about five and a half of these a day to get my water intake in something with a straw that you could just kind of have next to you helps you just kind of keep the water intake going so i try to drink at least five of these a day and i do consider this plus the acne foaming cleanser an essential part of like me like clearing my acne again my skin is not a hundred percent where it needs to be but I've been using this cleanser for about two weeks and I've seen a significant change in just those two weeks so I can only imagine how my skin is gonna be in six to eight weeks which is usually the skin cycle skin typically takes about six to eight weeks to like get new skin so that's why I always try to give every product six to eight weeks because you got rid of the old and then you're in with the new so you can really see how our product is but it's only been about two two and a half weeks and I've already seen a significant change in my skin so I'm super happy about that now the last um, stuff that I would do and that I also attest to helping clear my skin was cleansing my skin for 60 seconds now if you guys know the LA beautyologist here on YouTube she is an esthetician she came up with the 60 second cleansing rule where essentially you just cleanse your face for 60 seconds minimum and that has helped my skin in ways that I have like I can't even tell you it really helps you just kind of get down there and get all the dirt bacteria just oil from the day and you just really sit there and you cleanse your skin for 60 seconds i will link her video down below um that was an amazing video a game changer for me and it really 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 did help with the overall health of my skin and that is outside of the mask me but just in general you should be cleansing for at least 60 seconds a day now this next step is definitely something that I don't want anyone to just kind of take and run with it because you have to be very careful with this next step. I personally decided that I was only going to go places or wear a mask in places that was absolutely necessary. Now I am not saying for people to not wear masks because you need to wear masks. We are in a global pandemic and if we want to slow down the spread of the COVID-19 we have to wear masks. But what I'm trying to say is that I personally could not wear masks for long periods of time like the average person because of the impact it had on my skin. So I would be extremely selective about where I went. I would not go to places with a lot of people I would not go places where I had to wear a mask for a prolonged period of time or I just won't go outside like that was just what it was because I personally could not be in a predicament where I was constantly wearing masks because it was just not working for my skin so this step take it how you want it don't not wear masks like wear masks but be selective about where you wear your mask because you don't want to be in a situation where you're wearing a mask for eight to ten hours a day and your masking is not going to get better even if you do all of these steps because of the the irritation that it has on our skin now also the other step is to clean your mask if it's a reusable one or constantly put on a new one every 30 minutes if you have to be in a situation where you're wearing a mask for a long period of time do not keep your mask on for more than that it's not worth it it's not gonna help you don't put yourself in a situation where you have to and if you absolutely have to wear a mask change your mask don't keep the same one on that moist environment the talking the breathing all of that is what's causing our skin to react so roughly and so abruptly and I knew that it was the mask that was causing it because all of my breakouts were in this specific area right here and that was all I needed to know to you know come to that conclusion so take it how you want it don't not wear masks guys I'm not saying to not wear masks but what I'm trying to say is be as selective as possible if possible I hope that makes sense so that is all the tips that I have for you guys today I hope that was helpful if you enjoyed this video you can share with a friend anyone that you know suffered from suffers from max need and I would love to see what you guys um, recommend down below let us know what you've been doing to clear your mask need because I would love to try that as well because it is an ongoing battle like I said my skin is not at a hundred percent but it is significantly clearer than it was so I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye